Hello everybody, welcome back. We are closing the week off at the old barn. But today is pretty much, I think, where we tidy it up, do a bit of gardening, play some stuff around, and we're done. So, I did some research. I asked you guys, and I was like, I don't know. I've looked at barns, and I think I want to make this look like it's a beam rather than And then we can change color here on the top and the bottom of the barn because looking at barn conversions a lot of the barns keep their original color and some of them don't so I was thinking use that Ooh, that didn't go into a wall did it Come on, I have to stand on that to do this. Okay, you know what? If in doubt, let's start again. I think I want to go that far. It almost looks like an external support type structure. And then we're going to use this dark wood on it and then it will look well sort of like a beam and then we're going to go for a dual color so the top will be one color and the bottom will be another color so we'll start oh you see how different it wasn't me i promise look at the different angle was that just because i built onto it it looks weird that's fine so i also had bonds where the wood was going that way and then barns where the wood was going this way and I'm very confused now so let's look at panels now the thought process we are using oak and we are using the, the dark this one but I want something with now we're outside I want something with a bit more texture to it so we can color this I don't want to go for a light I'm thinking maybe keeping it now the question is which way is this going to go I was thinking of keeping it light for the top story and then darker for the bottom. Now the only problem I have is did I buy the right way? I think I did. <laughs> okay. Let's try it out, shall we? Let's bring in our massive scaffold that weighs a ooh, ton. Let's see if we can place it here. Yeah. It's all really. Nope. 
that's it. Okay. Let's climb. And see what what we can do with this wood. And hope to goodness. Is it the right way? Oh. We never did a cut pattern, did we? Damn it. Is it? Yeah, one. the hugest one possible. Okay. Oops. Spend some money. Let's see. Yes! We've got the light barn. The wood at the top. Darker barn wood. Oh, yes, I like that. It does give me that sort of rough exterior wood aesthetic. We need to get some of the dark wood up here. So we can actually, I'm selling that because we don't need it and I'm going to confuse myself terribly. Uh, where's the dark wood? I put it here. Speaking of which, I also built a path. I think you saw that as we came in. Sort of a driveway and we might just build a Little shed. This bit, you see. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to move it over. Can I jump? Yes, I can. I really like that. It just lightens the place up and then we're going to go for a slightly darker wood at the bottom. Let's see, can we build me? Yes, we can, but you know what's going to happen. I'm not going to be able to get up that ladder. <laughs> Move it over a smidge. have to do this on the do we do it on the back of the wall as well no with the pictures of the barns you never quite see the back of the barn oopsie I can live with that awesome Gonna take a walk around before we get carried away with stuff. Have a look at the back. Okay, so it will be at the top there. Which will work. Run, run, run. Yes, fine. I'm jumping off the scaffolding.
hate that this the one glitch I found with the the well with the fences is that if the fence is placed it's very hard to either tile or do anything where the fence is if that makes sense it sort of blocks you You can actually move the damn thing. Do your thing and then put it back. And that irritates me. And of course, I've got like five planks to go. do the outhouse in this I'm not removing the outhouse I think it is just such a cute quirky thing that I cannot resist leaving it See, there's a gap there Awesome. <clears throat> I shall put this by the outhouse for future consideration. And take the paint out as well, so I remember that it's still hanging around. Okay, <clears throat> and we can use this board here if we wanted to, or we could do the other one. Now, I'm thinking of going, how dark do we want to go? That might work, but do we put the planks the other way? Do we keep them the same? I think the same way. Let's see what it looks like. walls are big <laughs> it eats up so much okay do you see what I mean about the why is that oh that is there so I can actually do the edges here I had to move it to do this edging on the on the side here. Okay. Let's put it back, shall we?
Esta. Yeah, I think that just brings a, a different colour to the place and I think it's really cool. I don't want it too dark because that would be sad. All right, let's grab this and make our way around. Hopefully we, yes, we don't need the scaffolding here, which is a relief. Prefer building walls in sandbox to ooh. To be honest, simply because you have some more control over how you can build it. This place is just eating it. It's like the dark hole. I did put some bushes here, which I might have to move. We had some bricks that were coming through the roof that I had to remove. Might be a little uneven here. Think they. maybe put something there. See that bit there? I'm missing a brick. some beams in. <clears throat> You're gonna need some more. Always do that and then I end up with too many. I wish we had the option. Well, I wish we had more plants. I wish we had herbs and maybe some vegetables and stuff. Is there a ah remind me to get the wood out the dark wood out
Now a lot of the barns that I was looking at didn't actually have these sort of pieces here. They were pretty much just the same wood. Which makes sense, I suppose, but at least I know I bought the right cut for this, which is the straight cut. You will let me in there. You will let me in there. There we go. It always comes as a surprise when I run out of stuff. I don't know why, but it does. Sort of like, what? <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. I like that. I don't need to redo the chimney because I've kept the stone there. I would like to be able to fill in the gaps in the grass. I would like to do a couple of things, but where's that dark wood? It's the one there. Yeah, yes it is. Now with this new one where you can actually leave it on the ladder when you move the ladder, <laughs> you tend to forget and lose things. There was one spot here that I had missed. You see that? Now, I'm guessing I can't get there without the dam. <gasps> I can. Nah. Now, can I get there? Yes. I was just thinking that will finish it all. Well, I think that's very cute. Okay, empty. Sell it. Ripstone, sell it. You've missed something. Now we've got to decide if we want, well, we have to replace these. We'll throw it right there so we don't forget to sell it. So do I keep... Let's see. If I rotate it that way... I go for a dark color that's not exactly the same color as yeah that'll work a much rougher textured wood which is perfect for outdoors
didn't want to go over the darker wood edging there. Awesome! Alright, let's place this down here and then we've got all of them. All in a row. I think that's very cute. Let's go do the back porch. Mm, yes, I can get through there. Only a little one, so it will be fine. There we go. Oh, what on earth? Oh, that's who is our. I've got to put thingies here. Where is our that one? And that's the dark one. Let's go finish that. Come back for the other one. Is actually the wood finish so we don't need the other one which is awesome all right railing we went for this one we used There we go. Now you can't fall off the porch. Mind putting a little over here. Hmm. Oh, just thinking. Can we place a roof? Do you want it? I can give you same height. Think so. Do not clip other roofs. 
float, flat, can I? Okay, so it can be done. Okay, we just need more of a slope. just clicked because I panicked okay oh I can't damn it I can't fly all right so that would work if Maybe. If no, why not? Let's just go for it. All right, that will match everything else going on here. And we can use this maybe. Does that look strange? Maybe. Does it look fun? Yes. Have I been playing with the roof? I can't believe it. I think that'll work. Okay. We have a roof. Now, the question is, have we got vines that we can climb up there? We have some. some roses that's cute I can maybe put some more let's move this out of the way it's irritating me for now That'll work. I think we need 
need another rose. Climber on this side. That's very cute. I like that. We got... Now we can actually add vines to the house. Okay, these are the pretty ones. like the not the golden one obviously we're gonna need more That's quite pretty. We've got some bigger plants here, but I think we need some. We are the rose bushes. Okay, these are the climbers. This is the back door. I wish these were better. I really do wish these were better. These actually work nicely together. They sort of grow in a a formation which is quite pretty all right mid-size tall see the same rose bushes though which is sad because it would be nice to have different sizes so we've got the super tall ones and then we've got the like sort of which just disappear. Some of them are seriously expensive.
Hmm. There were quite a few of these in the driveway, so probably be a good thing to add them in here. Bring some continuity to the garden. Well, oh, ain't that pretty? How is this? Hanging vine, it has to hang from a pot. basic shrubs are expensive. I mean 200 52 bucks 273 bucks That's a nice tall one Should we steal one of these? Alright, what are those? Those are... Ooh, the bracken thing. They're all the same size because I'm putting them in different parts of the garden. You can't really tell. Okay, so if that's tall, 
Red socks. There will be more. <gasps> Seriously, guys, we do need to do something about that. little small and I don't think it will work it is so intensely bright it is the other thing Works well with the jasmine. that pop of color which works very well okay now look how cute this is we got the lung drop we got the whole toot is it dirty no all clean and shiny and I just can't take it away yes I'll probably be penalized for that but it's so cool I just can't take it away so it's staying all right now let us finish the garden maybe put in a couple of smaller plants row of tulips in here. Bring in spring. Taller than the tulips. Okay, that will work. Mm. 
is a little too tall for you. the tulips should we put in we put let's put more tulips in should we put what about these That is very pretty. And I really like that. Okay, we I'm selling this thing. And I think I have finished with the wood. So, let's just sell the wood. What I'd like to put out here is in the garden we have construction stuff. How about one of these? Maybe not there. Ooh, that's heavy. Awesome. Under the tree, the plants and the trees. We don't really have much else we've got bins and where on earth would you put a birdhouse would it be in a tree Ooh. Would it be on a wall? Aha! That's a sad bird that has to go and fly onto your patio, but we can put one on the wall here. Very cute. What else haven't we played with? Another bird. Question. If there was gardening, you know, well, you've got a couple of tools and that's pretty much it. We put a watering can on the back. Oh, Now, leisure and play, I wouldn't mind getting a grill. Not a charcoal. Ooh, this it's not. Yeah, let's get this one. This is like basic.
doesn't even open. It just is. Okay. We don't really have room for children. The sun bed. Consider that a sunbed. I consider that a garden chair. Okay, let's let's do the sunbed. Leather. Burlap is probably the one that'll stand up to the environment the best. really like striped but we're not going to go striped today that's actually quite cute Interesting with my outhouse there. Now, can I duplicate you? I need something at the outhouse there. And yes, I'm spending a fortune. It is what it is. It's not a, a fancy, fancy place. It's just a, a home. Like it. It's it's chilled, relaxed. It's like quirkiness to it. But I would like to put some benches or something. Yeah, but let's just get rid of that. Ooh, we need outdoor, outdoor lighting, don't we? Oh yes, furniture. We didn't have any benches out here, did we? Nope. Okay, rocking chairs. benches and chair. All right, there's a bench. I'll go with that. Let's go for that. Then, well, let's start with the hanging vines. Can I change this? Only one. Oh no. 
None of these. Aww. None of these are sizable. Uh, maybe? Do you want... no, not a tree. Very tall shrub. I'll take a very, very tall shrub. It's just planted in the middle of the ground. I mean, in the middle of the, the garden. Right, so we have the flowers going that way. I haven't really got any flowers going this way. We cannot move these. We can only sell them. Oh, but I don't want to sell them. I want to keep them because they're cute. They have their, their moments. Alright. Last but not least. Now, hmm. outside lights, we don't have light, oh we do have, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure I saw outside lights, I'm going to, I would like that, now we can place some Lanterns. You can see the shade the, the shadows getting longer. <laughs> All right. Wait to light up the lights. Oh, that looks so cute. But we need something by the back door. That would be quite cute. Just here and there. You can actually have your Barbie. Thank you. 
there. The lower ones would probably be logical in the front garden. What do you say? Okay. Don't know about this one. I mean, would you like your bin highlighted like that? Probably not. You see, the sun is going down. I'm sure there's way much more that I can do in the garden, but as I say, I just get frustrated because I cannot change the grass. I have to live with these like bare patches. I don't have enough flowers it's irritating but I think it's pretty right. can I put here's a question you on a fence post. You don't recognize a fence post. Let's see. Fences are a horrible thing. Recognize an old stump. How cute would that be? No, you don't recognize an old stump either. That is sad but true. Oh well, what can I say? All right, so this is the end of Barn Week in House Flipper 2. We will continue with Barn Week in House Flipper 1. <laughs> it's definitely been a Barn Week. And um, so I'm going to leave it here. We are going... Why am I going to leave it here? I can't leave it here. sell the house I have just oh look at the sun in the background it's actually pretty it's going down what does it look like around the back here yeah. very pretty with the light on and the sunset let's have a look here well that just looks pretty we have a porch for whatever reason we have some climbing roses on the porch and we have the barn all right let's sell it shall we all right so we bought this house for 252 252 000. 
We sold a mangy 6,445 and we've spent a huge 86,000. Let's sell it and see what happens. Ramona, Bella and Jane. Ooh. Okay. Alright, so we purchased the house for 252. We are looking good. All right. Bella. You want it for two five seventy seven five hundred. It gives us a profit of two forty five. Nice try. Not gonna happen. James, you are offering us five eighty three six hundred. Better offer. Nearly, nearly the yes, a little bit more. But Ramona, I'm sure I know you from House Flipper One. I'm sure, I've seen your face. I think is the winner of offering us five five eighty three nine hundred, and we get back more than we spent on the original prior purchase of the prior house. So. 252072. I'll take it. We selling to you. I confirm. Yay! So we made a profit. A little bit more than what we spent on the actual house, but we spent a fortune in renovation costs. But that should bring up our bank account just a smidgen there we go 2.6 that's not too bad I can live with that I must admit I am I like the houses here they're very cute but I just find I prefer playing in sandbox because you can do more stuff. You can fly and do stuff. But hey, we will continue, we will persevere. And I think next week I'll be back with something totally different. So guys, let me know, what house should I buy next? Which one of these houses should I buy? Give me a, a challenging house and see if we can do something with it. But you'll probably see me in Sandbox next. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got this far, please consider subscribing. I really would appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely day. See you all soon. Bye.